Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I'm going to give a quick mention to my boy Strikecast for asking me to do this, asking me to go to Alberta because that's where we're going to today. Uh, I'd also like to give another mention to Jake Vegas at Jake Vegas Digital. Go and check out their channels, give them a subscribe, likes uh, and yeah hope you like their videos do some great content so please go and check them guys out okay right so before we get started I have already bought my license make sure you always buy the advanced license when you go to a place because as with most of the places you can go to fish it's not worth getting the basic license for anywhere really Okay, so the gear. I've already cleared a spot in my inventory for a rod that we're going to try out. I have got my jig win off, my Thora. I have took my feather light out because there's nothing in this lake we're going to use to get it. Uh, as you can see, I stuck it in here. Oh, let's go repair them. A little bit because... So I've stuck them in there, no need for them. Now it's a level 22 lake, so let's have a look at what you can get at level 22 and why I would wait a little longer. Right, the rod, level 22, this is the rod we're going to use, so we're going to buy one of them, it's 9000, okay, so we're already in at 9000 for a rod that's going to hold 15 pound line because I wouldn't go any less for the lake trout okay so we're in at 9k 9k already and we'll buy that because that's the one I'm going to use I would say if you can wait wait till you get to level 27 and get the Thor in 9 foot 6 which is a lot better rod holds a uh, a little bit more line weight as you can see same lower weight this will become important because the lighter lures you've been using at the moment are just are not good enough for here really so this rod the nine foot six one is a 20 pound setup but for the sake of this video i'm going to use something a little cheaper it's not a lot cheaper i mean what's in it 500 so if you can wait i would definitely wait reels you need a spinning reel this is where it will differ a little bit now you can get if you really want to your spear ml 3500 which is a 13 pound drag probably be okay i shouldn't imagine but it is going to wear down quicker than anything else so you're going to be wasting money fixing your reel um and i'd like to pull them in a little bit easier you can even get that if you wanted but that's the same drag 13.2 but what we're going to do we're going to say level 24 this is a, a probably a key level 24 I would say because I think most things are going to be around 24 yeah so we're going to buy that fat boy spin and you can see it's a 15 pound drag which is good for our 15 pound line we're going to use so we're going to have using the full potential so we're not going to be wasting time and struggling getting these fish in it's going to be the potential is going to be there so that's another 10,600 for that okay we're going to buy that let's buy that Now laws, oh lime, we need some lime for it, we're going to use fluoro and you can get this at level 23 but if you get to level 24 you get 300 yards of it or 300 meters if you're in metric system so let's get some fluoro, have I got any fluoro? I don't think I have, let me just check no, I've got no 15 pound. I've got, I've got 16 pound mono. Mm, 
No, we'll get the floor on. We'll get the floor on because it'll be better. Right, there's our floor on. Because we're going for trout, so you're going to want. So we'll get that because we'll be level 24 because we need that to get the reel. Okay, the next thing we're going to need, we're going to need a net. So we've got our rod, we've got our reel, we've got our line, we're going to need a net. Now, unless you want to spend the gold to get the fish cabin M plus, which is 150 gold coins. Yeah, I don't have many, I've been spending them. But if you have got the gold coins, then that's a good one to get. But you're going to be getting this if you want to go at level 22, which is £66 and only £15 weight max single fish and to be quite honest you, unless you're just going for pike it's you, you're not gonna get a fish that's that small a lot you'll get a, some 10 pounders and then some 20 pounders so you're not gonna be able to keep the 20 pound fish level 23 you can get the 88 pound one which is a better bet um, or you can wait an extra few levels to 26 and get the 154 so but you know we're gonna work on 88 pound because they both have a 22 pound single fish weight so we'll work on the 88 pound fish I'm not gonna buy the thing but we're gonna put the price which is 14,000 yeah 14,020 so that would be the net not going to need hooks but we are going to need a lure and we're going to need a spoon and the spoon we're going to use I mean a lot of you up to this now will have been using this Amalite one definitely been using some of these narrow spoons and some of the others but what we are going to look for some of you may have this quarter ounce spoons some of the red tiger and lemon tiger I would say they're the ones we're gonna look at but not in that weight category because now remember we need a bigger fish we're gonna need a bigger lure with a bigger hook than a one-up we keep going by all means get these ones these three quarter ounce three ounce they're really good you can get the half ounce ones if you like, but they're still not the weight we're going to need. The weight we're going to need is these ones. So it's a level 24 law. Okay, now we're going to get—you're going to buy both of them. You can get five, so they're not any great expense, and they are one and a half ounce four rot size up. But these are the ones you want to buy. I already have them, so we will put the price of them on. So that's 840. Another 840 if you've not already got them. <coughs> baits, now you'll all have baits. I would say get some small minnows before going, maybe some shiners if you want to do a bit of pike fishing or salmon fishing. You can fish with salmon with these small minnows. Um, I will show you that if we get a bit of time. But we're mainly going to go see about these lake trout. And we're going to try and get some of them. So we have our 88 pound net. So we'll see what we do. Right, I've bought my license. Let's go to my inventory and set up this rod. And there it is. 6 foot 10 for a 16 pound rod. Uh, in my backpack, the reel should have gone in my backpack, and it hasn't. It must have gone in my home. It hasn't. Where's my reel gone? Oh, there it is in the backpack. <laughs> so it's time there. Right, we're gonna put our fat boy on. Now our line did that go in the backpack? There it is. You know, Fifteen pound. I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna put. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, we'll put it all on 300 odd. Still leaving 600, so you know, you'll get a couple more out of it. Maybe put about 330 on, just to even that up. But I'm not worried. 
Okay, and then the law we are going to use. I have. It is. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it gone? Where's my one and a half? Oh, there they are. Right. Now I'm going to put. I'll put the red tiger on first, see what, what we do with that. And as you see, weight is optimal. That's our setup done. So that's our rod setup. I will show you the float rod I'm going to use, maybe try and get a pike or two. We have our Nero 10 foot 10 inch, which is an 11 pound rod. Spira MLR 2000, which is an 11 pound drag wheel with 10 pound braid on. Chubby Bobber, two at hooks, small minnows, and yeah, there we go. So, got that set at 40 inch depth. Probably about, what, 100 centimeters or something. I don't know, something around there. <laughs> okay, we've got our license. Now, travel costs. It's 8,000 for one day trip, plus 1,000 every day. So you say 9,000. The license is 4,000. So, you know, it's 13,000 for two day trip. Okay, which you're going to be doing more than one day when you go there. So, let's go to Alberta and see what we get. Now, obviously, I'm going in blind, so we'll see what happens. See what we can get off the bat well, like I say just make sure I would wait a few more levels to level 24 or level 26 before going definitely just to make sure you've got gear that's heavy enough right okay day looks okay sunny day two sunny days see that'd be good for us going and then third day is okay as well and there's only one place to go I will say in the inventory in the shop now you can buy kayaks if you have the money and you are at the level you can buy the kayak now which saves you renting them so the cost it would be for renting now you don't have to so maybe we'll go out in the kayak we'll see so we've got our what's our room we've got our dock here now over the other side there are different places to fish but you have to use the kayak to go across. So let's just crack on and get in there. Now, show you where we're going to fish. All right. As you can see, there's my kayak, which is not the green one that you stand normally get. So we're going to come up to the end there, right into the corner. Let's select our rod. And here we have it, our Thora. Now our drag is really low at the moment. And I know I should be able to just do that. But for now, we'll leave it one shy of the max drag down here. So I've left two empty spaces here. I'm going to put my speed to three. And I'm going to cast right out there. Let's see how far we get with this. Uh, not that far, but 150 feet. I'm going to let it drop down a little bit. It is quite deep here, so... And then, I'm just going to... Give it this little bit of stop and go. Just to see if we get anything. This is the other reason I was going to suggest maybe waiting until you get to them higher levels. Because the Thor of six, oh, took them. The Thor of six foot doesn't cast quite as far. Obviously, I didn't get a full cast out of that, so. We shall see. Let's see if we can get a better cast this time. Nah. <laughs> 162 a little bit further. 
Bloody thing. I'll put it on two speed. And I'm gonna give it there we go, we got a fish on. Let's see, can I go up one more on the drag? Yes. So as you can see we've got the drag one way from top. Sometimes just stop reeling. And I'm just reeling. Might be a good fish. Now remember our max fish weight for our net will be twenty two pounds. Yeah. So we'll see what happens when we get this. Oh, oh, coming up. Whoa, sorry. I bet this is about a 12 pounder. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, came up then, came up to the top. Yeah, watch them jumping when they jump, try and get a bit on them. Just hold that right mouse button in. Just lift the rod. Try and control the fish a little bit. There we go. There he is. Okay. I would say use the red spoon in the mornings. So, ooh, ooh, yeah, see off. And then when it starts to die off using the red spoon, I would switch to the yellow for midday to evening. Come here. And there he is. 12 pounder. That's what I said it was, wasn't it? Yeah. So. There he is, there's our lake trout. Okay, let's try and get another one. See how we do. Just out there, there's a tree just there. If you see it, that tree just there. If you cast anywhere in between that tree, and I'd say the other tree's just there on the other side. Just that little gap, that's all you want to be aiming at. Got 172 on that cast, and I sank to the bottom, so there's a couple of snags out here as well. But we'll see, we'll see how we do. <coughs> it is a lovely lake though, it's pretty. Got campfires over the other side, and there's one of them snags. But it's a very deep lake. Oh, oh, yeah, nearly had one then. So, yeah, uh, we'll give it another couple more casts and see how we go, you know. And for a penny, and for a pound, or in for a pound, in for a penny, however, which way it's set. Go. And that one, 169 feet. So you're going to get around 160, 170 feet with this rod and reel settled with that law. And that's probably one of the heavier laws for this setup. Now with the nine foot Thora, that that will cast out over 200 feet. Let's see. Let's see what fish we can pull out. Come on, trout. And obviously, I am off peak at the moment, so maybe we'll just skip time in a minute. I'll give it one more cast and then I'll skip some time. And as you can see, the lure there just hanging on the bottom. It's like a really deep section just before the dock. around I think it's around 60 feet out it just drops and then comes back up right out there again 
nearly a full cast at the time. 172, so yeah, 170 feet ish. Okay, about halfway, and then just a bit of stop and go action. And again, nearly a bite. God. Yeah, like I say, it's off peak, so they are going to be tentative bites. And again, well, something wants it. Get off that snag. Bring it in. Try again. There we go, I think got four cuts that time. Go to there, 173, so as long as you get around 165 to 170. Alright, let's start our action. I will say if you want the unique ones, definitely gonna need a there we go, and we've got one on. That hit it nice. If you want the unique ones, you're gonna need the lures with the six up up. Which there's a six seven ounce one which is perfect for this rod. And then there's two ounce ones which unfortunately you need a bigger rod for, but for this rod the six seventh ounce six up lemon tiger or red tiger. say this is not peak time or it is right in the morning. Oh 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 don't lose that attention. Yeah we do come in. Right here he comes. Nine point six pounds. They do put up quite the fight, and this is why I would say this is the minimum gear, definitely the minimum gear for coming to this lake to fish for these these fighting suckers. I'm telling you, they can put up one hell of a fight. So you get 400. So it's like, you know, this is without premium, 92 XP. So the XP gain, you're getting full XP gain from this setup. I'm going to keep that. Now, I'm going to fall with time. Let's have a look how many times. So, I'd say, what's that, 9, 10, 10 in the morning, 7 to 9 at, till 9 at night. Once you get to 10 in the morning, you're getting into a nice peak area. So, there's a lot of fishing time here. So, let's do that. Let's forward till 10, 10 a.m. And I'm going to switch. Now to the lemon. Because as you can see, the day's brightened up, sun's come up. And we try the lemon. And halfway down. And there we go. Didn't even. Just one reel. One reel, and we're in on that lemon. Didn't even do anything there, hardly. <laughs> Just let it go halfway down and then started reeling. So they're very active, it sees. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, like I say, if you can afford it, if you can save up all that cash to buy yourself one of the kayaks. If you like using them, then you will save your money, save yourself money in the long run, because you don't have a renting cost, because you own a kayak. 
So obviously you don't have the rent one, but come on. Oh, this is one of the other things, there we go. Um, yeah, <laughs> There's something unexpected, we was going for lake trout and we ended up with one of these guys. A nice trophy splake. And as you can see, still nine pound, like the other one, but a hell of a lot more XP. The other one I bought was 95 XP and 400 and something, about four and a half hundred, I think. But this, 700 and 268 XP. That's a nice surprise, isn't it? Trophy spike. We'll keep that. Try for one more cast. See what we can get out and then we're gonna have a look at the salmon on the float this will be interesting <laughs> on a 10 pound rod we could be in for some fun all right so we'll get about halfway let's give it a two speed stop and go and there we go we're in second cast we're in oh yeah this is a light trout this is a good one this is taking line. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Come here. Give him a little. <laughs> he did not want to stop taking line on me then. This could be a twenty pounder. He's coming in now. Now. Maybe he's not a twenty pounder. Although I wasn't doing anything there, and he was just. All in line off my rod. Rod and reel. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they will not jump, they will just like it'll look like they're going straight down. And then they'll just hit a brick wall sometimes. It's like it's like when you're pulling something it just stops and there's no more gear. Just keep flicking at him. See if there you go, it just stops at <laughs> sixty feet. Hold him there a sec, see if we can get him a bit of pressure. Seems to hold him at 60 feet. That's wiggling. Yeah, he's not coming up. Come on. Come on, fish. Come on. Just pressure him up. Yeah, he doesn't want to move, does he? He does not want to move. Look at that rod shake. <laughs> Come on. Well. It's like holding a brick. Or a lump of concrete. Just Holding it on the end of your rod. This doesn't. I'm just going to hold him in until he comes in. Because this is. This is the thing. I was on the Thora now that. Well, I am on the Thora. If I was on the 20 pound setup, this would give me a little bit extra. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Just watching them bars on the right just to see if I can get any extra leverage and yeah this thing does not want to move no, it's 58 yeah, it does not want to move give him a little bit let's see if he oh he's moved he's running again Come on. Yeah, it doesn't want to move because that rod just wobble. Yeah. You're gonna have some fun fights with this setup, I will say that. Especially if you get a really big one on, which I fear this may be. <laughs> but you're gonna be watching it here, so. Thank you, Strikecast, for asking me to go here for the lake trout. With appropriate setup. 
<laughs> yeah. At least you know it's uh, capable of holding it. It's just whether we can get him past this 60 feet. He does not want to budge. Not want to move. He's going again. Is it? Come on. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Yeah, 60 feet is nice. Just hold it there, sir. And see if he wants to give me any or not. Does not want to move. I'm not going to break the line. I'm telling you, there's no way. And I'm going to persevere with this guy. Let's try a little trick. Aim at the sky, and come on. Give me a little flick of my eyes. Now I know this little trip worked through the pike at Michigan, so not the same can be said for these trout. Yeah, we're going to be in for a, a nice little fight here. That's for, ooh, 58. Oh, let's hold it there a minute and just see what's happening. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, Oh, he gave me a foot. He gave me one feet, <laughs> one foot. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see. Oh, this actually got some music. I wish I had some music on this thing now. But as you know, I like to record as I'm doing things. I'll have to get some tips on video editing, I think, and just maybe. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Took a while. Come on. What have we got? 5 4, 5 4. Come on. Perseverance, guys, perseverance. Never just give up. Never just give up. Sometimes it might take a while, but you don't know what's on the end of the line until you get it in. Twenty feet nearly. Twenty one. Come on. Nineteen feet. We should see him soon. There he is. Oh he's a big fat fish. Big fat fish. Okay, me looks knackered now. Come on. Then the last few feet. Oh he's yeah, he's electro. See that? It spooked him a little bit. And you can, they do react like real fish. I mean, they'll come in, they'll see the surface, they'll jump and spook. And we're back into the fight again. Don't you dare come out. Oh, he's going. Oh, well, this fight is not over yet, guys. I assumed once I got him past that 60 feet I was good but no he doesn't want to come anywhere oh he's jitting about like he wants to get off this line damn this fish where's he going look at that back out to 80 feet Oh my, oh my word, where are you going, I'm not doing anything, there's nothing I can do, he's just running on me. Alright, we're not giving up though guys, we're not giving up, this video could end up being a long one. 
if it had been a normal lake trout we'd have had it in and have done a little salmon fishing video would have probably been done by now but this thing <sighs> nope we are not giving up this is definitely why I would wait until you can get 20 pound gear unless you're going for the pike or the salmon then you, you would be okay with 15 pound setup but these lakes are out if you really want to come for them be my guest but this is the kind of fight you could be in for if this is what you enjoy then definitely use that slightly lighter setup oh see he did it again he spooked come on Oh, I've nearly got him. He's running again. He's trying. He's having some acrobatic time. Definitely. If I can get him up to this surface, I may get some chance to reel the line close to him. Jumping again. Oh, yeah, you will hear that owl a lot hooting. There he goes again. It's not an annoying, real annoying sound though. Not like the one in Florida. That bird down there wants someone with a shotgun to go and put it out of misery. Come on, fish, come on. Oh, he's off again. Yeah, this is this is a good one. We've gotta see what it is. We can't not see what it is, what's put this hell of a fight up. Remember we've got 15 pound fluoro on this, it's a 16 pound rod with a 15, is it a 16 pound reel, something along them lines, Whoa. anything under that is just not going to cut it, it's not going to cut it, you're not going to be able to, come on, oh so close, there we are, we've got him, we've got him, 31 pound, Whew. trophy lake trout, Okay guys, and there he is. He's took a little while to get in. Look at the size of that thing. There's my hand. Look at the size of that. My hand had fit in its mouth. Yeah, that's a monster. 1,400. Don't forget this is without premium. And 488 XP. Whew. Hello, you beautiful fish. Yeah, there you go, guys. Oh... And the other thing is, with that net, in fact even with the £154 net, you would not get that cash. Remember this, you will not get that cash, you will get the XP. You'll have a fun fight, but all that cash there, you might as well throw it back, because that fish will not fit in your net, because your net will have a £22 weight limit. So it'd be a nice fish to have. It's took you it's took us a in-game hour, call it, 
to fight it. So it took a little while. And now we can't keep the fish. Well, luckily enough, I can keep the fish. So <laughs> all the fish we've got so far, we've got 31 pound of fish and then in one fish we've just got, we've got more than all the other fish we've caught today. But I'll keep that. But there you go, just to let you know, you will not be able to keep that fish. Okay, let's go and have some fun. Let's get our 10 pound float set up out. With our minnow on. Now, I can't remember the depth of this. I'm going to try, I'm going to do 60 inches. Let's see. So, come back to the end here. You don't have to be right at the end, but there's that last tree just there. And two light dark coloured ones. That last green one, and then there's like a dead one there. We're going to cast towards that last tree, anywhere around that area. I'm going to cast as far as we can. Let's see what's that. We want a bit. Uh, that'll, that's that's okay. 140 feet. With our small minnow, I'm just going to reel out a little bit so it gets to 145. Gives a bit of slack. Now you won't have to worry about your slack because when these fish take, you are going to lose that slack. That slack is just going to disappear in a heartbeat. Well, let's try and get one of these salmon. Now I'm using small minnows here on a size two otter. 145, 140 feet out of cast, roughly. If you can get a little bit further, that'll be fine. But I'd say 140 feet should be good. And we're going to see what we can get here. There we go. And there we are. Straight off. Just went whap. And if you see, if you watched, you rewind this video a little bit if you want. But if you saw that line just disappear, it just shot like a but it just went whap. Like, like an elastic band. And this will be a salmon. And this is a £10 rod, this, so you should have something around this size by the time you get here. So you can always do the salmon fishing. In fact, it's not even a salmon, it's a brook trout. How about that? Everything's turning up today. We've had splakes, £30 lake trout, and so now we've had a brook trout, which I was a bit surprised about getting because that's my salmon spot. Never mind. 157 cash, 65. Little down because it's only a small one, but we'll keep him and we'll try again. Okay. Well, how about that? I didn't expect him. Let's see if we can get out there as far as we can. Ooh. Not quite as far, I don't think. What are we on? 39. Just reel out a little bit, give yourself a little bit of slack. We'll zoom in. We'll try again. <laughs> This video is turning everything up. <laughs> and you don't need massive hooks. That two up should be good enough. You should have a two up. See fish action there, and there we go. Now with this reel, you will see there are more markers on this reel. It's a really good reel. This is another good fish. And I've got this reel set two markers from the top. So, but this is a really good float set up for even getting the pike on here. You should have some fun. It's coming in a bit now. That initial run when they take it, and it, that's how fish reacts. They hit something, they get that hook caught, and then the natural reaction is to run like crazy. Whether they run towards you or away from you just depends on the fish. Pull him up. Come on. Loving it. Yeah. We've got this, we've got this. There he comes, there's the float. Drop. Reel, drop the reel. There he comes. And there's the salmon. It's a nice ten pounder. 
205. So, as you can see, the salmon compared to the lake trout pay around the same for the weight, but the XP you are going to get is going to be better. So, in my opinion, definitely try and go for the lake, the Atlantic salmon here, and the pike until you can really get the big lake trout but if you just want some fun go for them lake trout but don't give up okay guys do not give up on them fights unless it spills you never break the line but let that thing spill you okay well considering it's <laughs> a epic fight that we had then I think that is a good fish to end the video on and as you can see where I was casting just where that anywhere around that area where that see that fish where it's jumping then it's around 140 feet out 60 inches deep to a hook small minnows and you're gonna uh, catch these near enough all day long there here's Atlantic salmon uh, yeah good for XP level you up quick reasonable for cash so you know 10 pound 454 so for a hundred pound of fish you got four grand of you know four and a half grand of money that's basically it four and a half grand of money per hundred pound definitely the the pike are the best paying fish so we'll keep now i'll show you where the pike are first before we leave actually be a good idea on it i mean and you can fish all along this bank i mean there's nothing stopping you just getting in just throwing one out there like that you know there's nothing to stop you exploring and having a look let's leave it there a minute see what happens you never know might get something we'll just give it a little minute but there's nothing stopping you just throwing something out and just seeing what's there you know because there's burbot in here as well but I really wouldn't recommend fishing for the burbot because yeah they just <laughs> fish for one and then maybe I'll do a video on the burbot but I just don't like them they're an ugly fish too really ugly fish remind me of um, an even uglier bowfin same thing and you'll use you can use small cut bait to get them can use small minnows even but the thing is it's, it's sort of like catfish style fishing yeah as you can see nothing's biting it there but you never know you can try all along it aim anywhere out there now the two campfires you've got one there and you've got one over there now if you get the kayak you can get out at them campfires and fish from over there okay uh, yeah nothing wants that at the moment let's go to the pike spot keep going yeah all the way along here you can fish just get your spinning rod cast it out and see what happens just move down give it a few casts see what you can pull out now as you can see logs in the water there two logs stuck out and then there's a fallen tree over the other side and what we're going to do we're going to just move slightly to the other side of that to the right of that fallen tree okay yeah cool. we'll move down a little bit more i'm going to cast just about there as far as you can in fact i'm going to change my depth no i'm going to leave it at 60 inches a minute just to see i'm going to just cast over there it's far as you can now it's that 140 reel out a little bit give it a little line so it's like going to be the same hopefully as the uh, salmon and you can spin for these fish if you've got crankbaits use crankbait and you're gonna you're gonna pull different fishing on crankbaits you might get a salmon you might get depending on the crankbait but you might get salmon you might get a lake trout who knows oh we'll get a pike that'll take this in a minute we'll see well, 
what I'm in I want to do. Honestly. There we go, we've got a fish on. See it doesn't it didn't take long. And I don't know what this is yet, it could be a, could be anything. If you've got shiners and you've got to go for a pipe, use shiners, but for the expense of shiners, use small minnows because the pike are the best paying fish, but let's see what we've got. This is would you believe it? I was only just talking about these ugly fish and look what we get at the pike spot. Hey Berbert. Unbelievable. What is going on? Everything is changing. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, it is an ugly fish, isn't it? But yeah, three pound hundred and sixty six, so Thank you for experience. And there we go, there's the Berbert. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's such a hell. Oh, I should start this video again say it. Oh, I'll just call it something different. <laughs> yeah, catching everything we're not supposed to be catching. But, bear bit down there as well. Oh my god. Now this is where video editing is good because then you can just cut out the fish that you don't want on the video. But I'm just putting anything on. Whatever we just come down here and this is like real life, this is what you're gonna catch. This is what's gonna happen when you do it. Now look at these videos and expect that that's all you're catching in certain spots because it does not work like that. You're more likely to get those fish yeah I mean you should be more likely to get pike here than other fish but you will get a variety doesn't matter where you fish apart from maybe that trout spot that really is mostly lake trout you may get the odd Atlantic salmon and the odd splake like we've seen but though you get splake all over this place depending on your fishing but that burbot surprised me I've never caught a burbot down here Yeah, nothing happening just yet. But it can take a little time. All these things to bite. Just keep watching your flow, it will move around as that minnow swims. Yeah, something looks like he's doing a little bit of erraticness. Get ready for it. When it stops, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe it will stop. No. Oh, it's not was chasing him for a second. Mine's going out a little bit, give him a little bit more line. Number 48. I'll just wait and see. Oh, fighting that light trout has tired me out a little bit. <laughs> oh that was an epic fight on that rod epic fight 31 pounder there it was it 31.9 on 15 pound rod yep yeah. that was some fight but that's what you can expect because you never know there we go we've got fish on I don't know what this is But we'll see. Doesn't feel big. Should be a perch or something. You what? <laughs> oh, I called it right when putting a shiner on. <laughs> That's a mate. No, in fact, no. I'm not putting a shiner on. That is amazing. I called it. No, I didn't get a lot of distance on that. We'll give it another try. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, I just knew by the weight of it and how it reacted. Pot perch. Perch.
Really, man. Yeah, thank you, Straightcast, for this video. This is uh, amazing. Now, as you can see, our fish net now is nearly 88 pounds. So, this is why I was saying if you're going to come, definitely, definitely, you know, you're going to want to come with a bigger net than 88 pounds. You can do it by all means. Fish jumping over there to the left. You can do it by all means, but you will have to do more days. You definitely will. You're going to have to do about a four or five day trip. I mean, you don't have to do them all at once. You should all know the trick by now. If, if you don't want to leave a place, just quit the game. Don't leave the area, and you can always come back and do it again. Fish from the same place. Sit doing, sit doing, sit doing. Oh, there we go, fish on. Come here, fish. Nearly ripped it out of its mouth, and I was, I was struck at that fish. This is another not a big fish. It's another perch, isn't it? Damn, damn them perch. Let's change the depth to 40 inches. And see what happens. Damn, that was a poo cast. That was a poo cast. That. Maybe this rod just doesn't cast far enough. You shouldn't have to use shiners. You should not have to use shiners. And the shiners can be deceiving. Honestly, that's one of my friends, Sabadell. All about the shiners and the bass at Michigan. On eight alts. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Some oh my god moments when you're pulling them in. And you think, how the hell does that even fitted the shiner in its mouth? I caught fish as big as a shiner on a shiner. It's ridiculous. But it is what it is. Sometimes you can be like this. The fish that you want just never bite. It can be a strange old game at times. Never guaranteed to be there. Now they have done the migrating pattern system. So you can't just, it's not the same as just hitting one spot and then Oh, I'm going to get a fish every time It doesn't always work like that And nothing wants my minnow He's just swimming around having a party out there isn't he? Yeah, he's enjoying his little life in the cold waters of Alberta. Oh, something spooked him. Or is he just having another party? Maybe he's seen a female fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, got something. Finally, do we have our pike? <laughs> Feels decent. Is it giving a good talk? Come here, fish. This could be, you know. So, 40 inches for the pike. We've got this. 
There he is. Finally. Now only a five pounder but he was putting some fight, but there you go. And as you can see, per pound, best paying fish, but he was a struggle. But we got him. So it's 40 inches, not 60 here. 40 inches for the pike. 60 if you want birch and burbot. <laughs> Oh, okay guys, I think that'll do for today. But, don't forget, check out Strikecast and Jake Vegas on YouTube. Come and check their videos out, give them a subscribe. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all guys, uh, next time. Yeah, take care. I'm just, I can't believe that fish before, but there we go. Let's show him fat before we do that. Sorry. We've got 86 pounds. Let's have a look how much cash we've got for that weight of fish. Four thousand. Well, I said 4,500, didn't I, for 100 pounds. So we've got 86 pounds. So we're doing all right, actually. So I suppose an 88 pound net would be okay. Just be careful of getting those 30 pounders. Uh, and there's our list of fish that we've got. Excuse me. A couple of perch. Brook trout, burbot, bike, splake, and then salmon and lake trout. But you want to be heading for these twelve to t anything up to twenty pound for that for using this rod. Anything up to around twenty pound, you should be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. That was a good little fight. I'm just impressed with that fish. It really did. Give me a good fight, and I'm happy with that. But yeah, so don't forget, guys, hit that like, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.